morning, all on Sunday the 9th of May. And here we are entering into the new month of Sivan. Um, so as we've been thinking about recently, about the preceding months being the transition month into the month of Sivan, which talked about harvest time. So... The month of Z Sivan. The Jewish people arrived and camped before Mount Sinai. The Torah described this with the phrase, Israel camped before the mountain. And that can be found in Exodus 19 verse 2. So it stressed that it was a singular form, as in it described them camping the entire people as one person with one heart expressing unity so this is where we're at i believe this is what we're being encouraged during this month we to be those that are camped one person as in one person in one heart unity unified all together and obviously the month of Sivan is the month that houses the feast of Pentecost which is on Sunday the 23rd of May and Shavuot 17th of May is beginning of the festival of weeks so both happen in this Hebrew month of Sivan the tribe that is associated with this particular month is Zebulun, which can also be noted as like the business person's month, because Zebulun were very faithful to the Lord, and they particularly excelled in the area of business. Genesis um, 49 verse 13, Jacob prophesied that Zebulun would dwell by the haven of the sea. So it's like symbolising ships. And in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 33 verses 18 to 19, Moses actually prophesied over this tribe of Zebulun that they would partake of the abundance of the sea and the treasures that were hit, hidden in the sand. It's interesting, isn't it? So here we here we are in this month of Sivan. You know, their their prophetic destiny was that by the sea. Mm. But it was interesting when they went into the land apportioned to them, it was kind of like they were apportioned in a bit that was landlocked. Or the tribes surrounding them. But as happened during that period of time for this tribe of Zebulun, God shifted the boundaries. And by the first century, a Jewish historian named of Jephazes said, the territory of Zebulun reached all the way from the Mediterranean Sea to the Sea of Galilee. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? God moved boundaries that they might fulfil their destiny. Also this month, it's a month to be given giving strategies. Something else that... Um, was expressed for the people during the month of Sivan. They were given strategies around giving. So what are we to learn? From my studies, we are to pursue our call with faithfulness. Even if at present you are seen to be landlocked, so to speak, and we're encouraged to work with what you presently have. So I like that. 
You know, even if you can't see the way ahead, the Lord knows the way ahead. The Lord knows where our destiny lies, where the destiny of C4 Church lies. How, as we've been praying, the prayer of Jabez and boundaries being extended, this will surely come because it's spoken in his word. And in my studies again, tribe of Judah, tribe of Issachar, and the tribe of Zebulun, these tribes that were surrounded right round Zebulun, they worked together. And it, and it said that each had a phrase. So Judah was praise, Issachar was prosperity, and Zebulun, sorry, I'll start again. Judah was praise, Issachar was prophecy, and Zebulun was prosperity. So during this month of Sivan, where it's the month of Pentecost, it's about the ingathering. The harvest talks about this in Exodus 23, verses 14 to 17. And famously, we need to dig deeper into the Acts 2 passage, 1 to 4. When we celebrate Pentecost, the giving of the Holy Spirit. And this, the giving of the Holy Spirit, unlocks his provision for our lives. It's amazing. So in this new season, in this new month that we are stepping into in 2021, we are to celebrate the unlocking and the releasing of provision for the new season of which we find ourselves in, in the church and in our individual lives. So in summing up, let's prophesy Savan is the rem is the month of receiving these new boundaries. Ephesians five one, uh, sorry Ephesians one verse five says, "We are predestined for adoption as sons," and that word predestined means establishing boundaries. So as his sons and daughters tonight of the living God, he's the one that establishes our boundaries. So as we pray, as we prophesy, declare, decree into this new month, let's look with excitement about that that the Lord is going to bring about. The provision is there for us to move and establish these new boundaries that we have as C4 Church, and also as individuals. So be blessed as you prophesy tonight. Amen.